Hi guys! In this video I'm going to show you how I made the flowers and the butterflies and the clips. Uh, the paper clips, the butterfly paper clips, the flower paper clips. I'm going to show you how I made all of those um, in this video. So what you're going to need is all of your, not all, some of your scraps left over from when you made the pages, when you cut the 12 by 12 papers down to 8.5 by 11. You're going to need some sort of flower die or punch. My, in this case, I'm going to be using uh, Tim Holtz Tattered Florals. Um, I'm going to be using three of the sizes of flowers. I don't, I'm not using this one, but I'm going to be using the other three. So you want to, you want to cut a bunch of those. So I've got a whole bunch already cut or die cut, I guess, in all three sizes. You're going to need a, if you want to make butterfly clips, you're going to need a butterfly punch. This one uh, is my favorite and it's from EK Success. Um, I'm sure it has a name, but I don't know it. Okay, it punches out a solid, it punches out um, a semi-solid, and then it punches out the more detailed um, version. So it's an EK Success uh, butterfly punch. So I've punched out a bunch of different ones of those and it's really simple to do. They, um, let's do the, the one that, um, it's the hardest to punch, really, is the more detailed one. So you just stick your paper in and you gotta push really hard. You see how it bent the paper? I don't know if you can tell. Yeah. But what you get is a pretty little detailed butterfly. So I'm gonna punch out a couple more of those just while I got the thing in my hand. All right, first we're gonna start off by just taking a handful of the flowers. Um, and inking them up. And I'm using that black archival ink. And we're just going to do one side. Let's just do a few of each size. You can do both sides if you want to, but I don't think it's really that necessary. Alrighty, let's ink up some of the little baby flowers too. Okay, so they're all inked up. I like to just ink a bunch because, you know, that way you've got them on hand. And then you want to take um, a bone folder, and for the big flowers, you want to go up, up underneath, and just each petal, you just want to curl just a little bit. So it's instead of it being flat like that, now it's got some, some um, uh, dimension. So you just want to go and do all of them the same way. Okay, and for the, for the centers of these, I'm going to use um, the medium flower, but I'm going to flip it over to the other side and fold it to where the petals are going to be sticking up instead of down. So just like that. So that way when they're on top of each other, it's sticking up. So I'm going to do that for several of these. Okay. And then with these little bitty, bitty, bitty ones, what I like to do is take that pad and place a bunch of them on here facing up, just like that. I'm a little off camera. Just like that. And then I like to take the, um, the round end of my pokey tool and just press in the center. So it ends up curling up like a cup instead of being flat. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make one of these uh, dew drop thingies the center. So I'm going to put a dab of glue. Um, let's do this one. I'm going to put a dab of glue right in the center. This is that matte multi-medium. I got a little too much. Then I'm going to take this, um, see how thick they are? I'm going to take this, well, I'm sorry, <laughs> see how thick they are? Um, I'm going to put it right in the center of that flower. Even though it's got a sticky back, it's, I just don't trust sticky backs. And then you just kind of want to press it back into that foam and mold the flower around it. 
so that it kind of looks like that. And then you want to set it aside to dry. So that's one way to do it. And then another way, obviously, is a brad. Which these I got from Go Hobby ahead Lobby. And stack them up. Where's my other flowers? Stack them up like this. Right? Let me move some of these out of the way. Just stack them up. Take your pokey tool. Go right in the middle, just like that. And then when you take it off, it should be perfect. And then you stick your bread through there. Whoops. You might want to make sure it's... So then you stick your bread in there, just like that. Open up the little prongy things. And then you want to readjust those petals on the inside. Let's see. That's, that's probably the easiest way to make these big flowers, just using that bread. And then these, these things, of course. I'm just going to pour out a couple. And what you want to do here is, again, a dot of glue. Just a little bit. And then you can either put a glue dot on the back of it, or you can just place it right down there and let it dry. So I'm just going to place it right down there and let it dry. Um, so that's a simple, simple way. I also wanted to show you, um, and then the metal ones, of course. Let me see if I've already got one of those made. You just stick the metal one in there in the center and just flip it up. And it's pretty, too. You just glue it down, right? That's pretty. So it's pretty simple. Um, but I wanted to show you because I had to change the color of some of the metals. So here is an example. Um, okay, well, I thought that it looks blurry to me, these metal keys, but we're just going to go with it because I was going to pull way back, but then you wouldn't be able to see. So anyways, so, okay, so I changed the paper, silver paper clicks. Oh, I got, <laughs> I got black ink on my fingernails. The silver paper clips to black, some of them, and these little, little drop thingies to black on some of them. The keys, there's a silver, there's a um, um, mm -hmm. gold, like an antique gold color I changed to black. And then there's like a copper, coppery color that I changed to black. And each one of the blacks are slightly different, which is interesting. But anyway, I'll show you real quick how I did that. Um, you're going to need something to work on. So I'm just going to work on this a piece of packaging that I've been using. So you just want to place some of your things on here like that. And then let's grab a couple paper clips. I'm using the smaller sized paper clips. And I'll grab um, a couple keys, too, really quick. That's plenty. Let's do that one, and that one, and that one. All right, so I'm just going to take this Adirondack, Adirondack alcohol ink from Tim Holtz. It's pitch black. And for these little gemstone looking things. I'm just going to drop it directly on there. Did you see that? It just disappeared. <laughs> I'm just going to drop it onto the dot and it changes it completely. And I'm just going to let that sit. I mean, they just kind of disappeared, didn't they? All right. So then I'm going to, I'm going to drop some just random on here, but I'm also going to take this, this uh, tool and I'm going to squirt some onto there. You need to be careful, by the way, when you're working with alcohol inks because you can spill them rather easily. So I'm just pouncing and everything is turned black. Everything. I even had to do this to, I mean, hopefully I don't mess it up, to this chain on the closure because I didn't have a black chain. So I just did the same thing to that. 
Okay. And it's just that easy. Now they're black and it's simple. Just like that. And you let them dry before you use them, of course, or you're going to have um, a mess on your hands. Okay, those are all dry now. Um, so let's go ahead and assemble one of these pretty flowers. So let's take a big one and then let's take um, one of those and how about, oh, that's fine. I was going to use this black, I'm going to show you by using a glue dot. So I just got my roll of glue dots here and I'm just going to place it right over top of that glue dot. So it's a good way to store them that way too. Um, that way they don't get lost. And then I'm just going to stick that in the center. You, you should probably put a dab of glue there. So just like that. And then to put it together, it's really simple. You just want to layer the pieces. I'm using Fabri-Tac by Beacon. You just want to layer it. Hold it. Put glue on the little piece. And that's it. That's how you make the little, the big flowers, the three layers. All right, so I'm gonna leave that uh, to the side to dry. Um, let's see. Let me show you how to make a clip, a flower clip. Let's use some of the smaller ones. I already have some uh, made up over here. No, maybe not that one. Oh, that's a big one. Let me move the big ones out of the way. Um, I want to make some of the paper clips, so I'm just going to grab a couple that you could use the ones with the brads, um, but that's going to show on the flip side, so you may not want to use those. Nope, those are the same. Let's try something different. And I'm also going to grab a couple of these small ones, too. Okay, so for the small ones, the small ones are easy. Let me let me grab that one too. So what you want to do is I'm going to take these paper clips right here that I just turned black. What you want to do is you want to flip these over, just like that, and then you want to take your paper clip and take a glue dot. And you see this is the fat end and this is the skinny end. On the skinny end, you want to take it and place it on top of that glue dot and press it and pull it off. So, oops, sorry. So now there is a glue dot on the end of there. And then you just want to place it right in the center, just like that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do all three because um, then you're going to then you're going to glue it. I'm feeling very discombobulated today. I don't know what's going on. I have a feeling my editing is going to take forever. Okay, so I got the clips attached to the back there, and I'm just going to take that matte multi-medium that I put in this bottle. I'm just going to squirt a dot. Whoa, that's too big of a dot. On each one of those um, ends of those paper clips. Let me pat that one a, a little bit. And this may take a bit to dry, but once it's dried, it should be good to go. So, um, they're not dry yet, obviously. But so, that's what it ends up looking like. Just like that. So, I'm going to set these aside to dry. While I show you how to do the spiral um, clips. You can use whatever color you want, but for this one, I'm going to use just the black ones. All right, if you look at the clip, there's that middle part. It looks like an E, and not all of them are like that, but it kind of looks like an E. So what I like to do is I like to push that out, you know, kind of make it stretch out a little bit like that, just like that, right? So I do that to every single one of them. I can get a hold of it. You don't have to push it out too far, just enough so that the glue doesn't get everywhere. 
okay? So they're all pushed out, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take a mini glue dot. I'm going to place it right on that E. Whoops, you probably want to see. <laughs> I'm going to place that E right over top of the glue dot, just like that. <clears throat> and I'm going to flip these over and place them down in the center. I'm going to do that for all three. Just place them in the center. Just like that. And then the same thing, you want to take that matte multimedium. So you just want to take a dollop of glue on each one of those E parts. And if yours doesn't have an E in the center, just, just make sure you get it right in the center. So the glue dot helps it stay put while the glue while the wet glue dies, dies, dries. Um, so that's why I put the glue dot. It's not really necessary, but I do that so that they don't move around. So I'm gonna let those dry. And what they end up, whoa, what they end up looking like is that. See how that I used a brad on that one and you can see it. So this is a silver one. Um, but the reason you want to push it out a little bit is that way it'll slide onto your paper a lot easier. But look, that's on there pretty stinking good. So, and it just slides right onto the, um, whoops. Yeah, it slides right on. Can't you see? There we go. It slides right on to the back of the paper. So there's the back side. That's what it looks like. So, um, let me put this one back on there. And then the the little the little clips, these little dudes, aren't they cute? They're so cute. So here's you know here's what they end up looking like when they're clipped on, and there's the back side. I always put the bigger part um, towards the back. I don't know why. I just think it looks nicer because you just got the little bit in the front. Now I'm going to show you how to make the butterfly the butterfly clips. So those are simple too. You just punch out a bunch of butterflies and then you just want to ink them up. You can ink them up heavily or gently, you know, gently, either way. Let me get some more ink here. So what you want to do, Let me just get a couple of them ready. So you want a couple, you want a solid, each butterfly clip needs a solid base and it also needs a, a delicate die cut, you know, what's that called? Um, intricate part to match or to go with it. So I'm just gonna do a couple here I can't see, I can't, I'm happy. I just can't even talk today. I'm just not. So I'm going to match that one up with that one. And then I think I'm going to do this grayish color sort of with that one. And then maybe this purple with that. Okay, we'll just do three. We'll just do three for now. So, okay, this, this part's easy. Because what you want to do is, again, you take that paper clip and you put it on the skinny end. Again, you put the glue dot on the skinny end. And then what you want to do is put it in the middle of the butterfly, the, the solid base of the butterfly. So I'm going to do that for all three of the bases and here. And then again, you want to take a little dab of glue and put it right there over top of the paper clip. And then do a little of that. And then with the, the more delicate, intricate parts, you want to do this first because before when you when you put when you attach it to the paper clip it's going to be wonky. So if you're going to add something to these, you want to do that first. So the first thing I want to add is um, this key. So basically, it's just going to go. It's going to be like the center. Oop, that one's all messed up. Let's pick another one. So 
so it's just going to be the center of the butterfly right there. So what you want to do is again get a glue dot and find an area on that key that you can add that glue dot to and you may then want to just add a little bit of glue to the base of that butterfly and then you just want to tack it down to the center there okay and you want to set that aside to dry and then I was going to add some rhinestones to the center of one let's add it to this I'm just going to add a little bit of glue here no biggie take my tweezers I think I'm going to do three these are dirty tweezers and I'm going to put one in the center <laughs> these got sticky backs on them so they want to stick to my tweezers and then I'll put a little one up top like that and then a little one on the bottom and then you want to give that a chance to dry before you mess with that any further and then I think I was just going to leave the other one plain so I can show you what you would do next so you know the butterflies they bend up like that aren't they pretty so all you got to do is add a little bit of glue to the back side of the butterfly I'm using the Ranger multi matte medium which one did this go on? Was it this one? I think so. So you just want to match it up like that. You just want to press it down and then just let it sit and dry. Okay. I also wanted to point out I made one with um, a black paper clip with like it's almost like rubbery or something but it was just too bulky or something because if you look at it it's really thick on the side and the other ones are really very thin if you look at them next to each other you can see the difference so I didn't really like using the, the black the paper clips at all so I am going to let those dry okay they are dry enough so um, all you want to do now is add a little bit of glue to the back side of the butterfly and then place it carefully down over top. I'm a little shaky. I don't know if you can see that on camera. <laughs> carefully down on top of there. And then the same with this one. You know, you can bend the wings up um, before you glue it down if you want to. doesn't matter. And then just attach it right over top of there. And see, it makes this sweet little, these sweet little clips. Now, if you just wanted to just have the embellishments not on a clip, you know, you just don't add the paper clip. It's the same process. You just don't add the paper clip. Um, like that one right there. It's one of my favorites. I like the key. I think it's pretty. Um, if you're just going to glue them directly down. Okay, so here you can see all the butterfly clips. I got them on this black thing here. And then you could see like the dimension. And here oh. is the side that has all the flower paper clips. Let me get that light. We didn't make all these in the video, but there's all the different. And they slide on and off so easy. And there's the dimension. Let me put this on. Can you see the dimension? Oh, not all of them have been fluffed back up, but like that one right there. And see, there's the back side. So, oh, sorry, you can't see the back side. There's the back side. So it's just a circle. I think this is the perfect way to do flower paper clips is using those circle ones. And there's the back side of the butterflies. So um, give it a try and let me know uh, what you think. And if you like this video, then give me a thumbs up. Um, and be sure to go check out my other video on how I made the MIDI album. 
you know, using uh, some of these embellishments and things. And I guess that's it for now. I will see you next time. Bye.